Hello everybody, it's Joe the Locksmith. In this video, we're going to show you how to load the vehicle logo images onto the Autel IM608. This will also work for the Autel IM508, IM508S, IM608 Pro, IM608 Pro 2. Okay, first, we're going to be using a USB drive, flash drive, thumb drive. And you need to get all the photos, the PNG files of the vehicle logo, the photos from the laptop or from your computer. And you need to load them onto this thumb drive, onto this USB drive. All right. So all the logos that I have, I'm going to upload them onto Patreon and Coffee. So all the VIPs will have access to the logos ready made. It'll save you some time. Once you have all the logos loaded onto the USB drive, we're going to install them into the auto, plug it into the one, one of the USB ports on the top. Once that's in, we're going to go to the home page. And we're going to go all the way back to the Android home. Let's click this home down here. Now we'll go to the File Explorer, ES File Explorer. Okay, so now here we can access the files on the USB. So we're gonna click USB. On this drive, I have them saved in the folder called Logos. I'm gonna go to Logos. Okay. So for example, we're gonna do the next one is Kia. I need to load Kia. So we're going to find the logo. We're going to click and hold it down. You'll see it checks it off. So next we want to click copy. Copy. Okay, now the logo is copied. We're going to then go to home. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to scan. Gonna scroll down again and we're going to locate vehicle emo so vehicle emo this folder will have all the software for the emo side vehicle is all the software for the diagnostic side so we want to do it for the emo side the key programming section so we click vehicle emo and we're doing kia so kia is asia click asia I'm going to go down to Kia, click Kia, okay, now we're going to press paste on the bottom, paste, okay, as you can see it pasted the logo, now we need to find the, the, excuse me, we need to find the original logo here, it's labeled car underscore ODN, so once we find that, we're going to click and hold it down, when it checks it off, we're going to press delete. So delete that. Yes, delete it. Now once that's deleted, we're going to click the new Kia logo. We'll click and hold it. We're going to click rename. We're going to rename this car underscore O D M. Okay. Now change the name. Now once that's done, the Kia logo should now be in the software. We just need to close it. We're gonna close it by pressing this button here. And we're gonna close the Max EIM. I'm gonna go back home. Now we need to reopen Max EIM. So let's let it reload. Reinitialize. Now let's check it. We'll go to emo. Accept. Oh, excuse me. Too fast clicking there. Cancel. Okay, as you can see now, Kia, the logo is there. So let's do Jeep again for the next example. So say we want to do Jeep. We want the logo there. So we're going to press home. 
I'm going to go to ES File Explorer. Okay, let's go to the USB drive. Let's go to the folder that says Logos. Logos. We're looking for Jeep. And once we find Jeep, we're going to click and hold it. And we see the check mark, we're going to press copy. Now we're going to go home. Let's go to scan. Scroll down to vehicle email. And now Jeep is USA. Jeep. We're going to press paste. Now we're going to find car underscore ODM. Click and hold it. And delete it. Are you sure you want to delete it? Okay. Now we're going to take Jeep. We're going to click and hold it, the new logo. And we're going to rename it. And we're going to call it car underscore. Space O D M. So call underscore O D M. Then we press OK. Okay, once that's saved, then I need to close it out. So I'm gonna press this button. Close it. We're just closing it out so that it can reload and we could just check that the logo is there. So once it reinitializes. We'll go to email. Now we should see the Jeep logo there. You can see it takes a little bit longer to load up. It's a small price to pay for the logos. And there you have it. Nice clean look. Now just a quick note. If you receive an, an update. So later on say Hotel pushes a new update for Nissan. So when you go to the updates and you download the new Nissan update, your logo will be wiped away. So you're gonna have to go through the process again to re-add the logo. So in other words, every time you do an update for that manufacturer, you'll lose your logo. You'll need to do the process again to load the, the, the picture into the folder so you can have the logo. So you wanna make sure you save the pictures and the files of all the logos so that you can reinstall it. All right, so that's how you upload the logos to your hotel IM508 and IM608. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.